Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Star Wars Outlaw. We're going to start by optimizing Windows and after that we're going to go inside of your NVIDIA parameters and after that we will go inside of the game. So now for Windows, we're going to start by writing settings and we're going to go to the settings of Windows 11. We're going to start by gaming over there. So the first one is game bar. This one I really recommend to deactivate it. It's causing issue and also you're losing some FPS with it. Except if you have a Ryzen uh, CPU, the 7900X3D or the 7950X3D, they're using uh, the game bar uh, to prioritize your CCD when you're playing video games. So super important to use that if you have those processors. If you have any other processor, just deactivate it. After that, we're going to go to graphic. We're going to change default graphic setting over there. Make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. Super important to do that. We're going to go to gaming again, capture, capture, make sure that everything is deactivated like this. So uh, you want to save all your resources. And the last one is game mode. Now game mode, honestly, is really, really good. Back then with Windows 10, it was a bit sketchy and a lot of like stuttering issue. But now you really need to using it uh, to make sure that all your resources are pri prioritizing your video games. Another thing that I recommend, we're going to go to system is your power uh back then uh, we were recommending to use the best performance but now honestly just use balance you will have better boost clock longer boost clock uh, i did a couple of benchmark balance versus per best performance and honestly i'm getting better result with balance so super important to do that Another thing I want to mention is some recommendations. So make sure that your uh, XMP profile is activated if you have it on your BIOS, super important. Make sure that you download the latest uh, chipset driver for your CPU if you have an AMD or Intel. Also make sure that you update your BIOS to make sure that you have all the latest update from your uh, CPU or your uh, uh, motherboard provider. Make sure that you have your Windows update up to date. And the last one is also make sure that you have the latest driver from your GPU. So if you have an NVIDIA card, Radeon or Intel, super important. They always push new update and they optimize a lot of stuff in it. So now let's go to the NVIDIA app. The first thing that I want to recommend, uh, I'm not a huge fan, honestly, of the um overlay so nvidia overlay i really recommend to deactivate this one sometimes it's causing issue like stuttering you're losing some fps with it so i really recommend to deactivate it also we're gonna go to the control panel i'm gonna show you some optimization that you can do so we're gonna go to the manage 3d setting first so the first thing that you should definitely activate it is your low latency mode make sure this one is at on Another thing that I recommend is your power management mode. This one, pretty much the same thing than the, the, the one from Windows. Make sure that you're using normal. Don't use the maximum performance. I'm getting also better boost clock, more FPS with it. And the last one is your shader cache size. By default, your cache will be a driver default like this. And normally it's four gig. Uh, I recommend to start with 10 if you don't have a lot of space on, on your computer. And if you have a lot of space, go with 100 gig. Honestly, it's a game changer for your cache size. Uh, you're going to struggle less with stuttering and also that your game need to recompile and stuff like that. If you install a lot of game, uh, this one can be very good for you. Now let's go to change resolution. The last one, really important to make sure that first of all, that you're selecting the uh, monitor, uh, that uh, first of all, you're using the native resolution of your monitor and also super important to have a proper refresh rate over there. Uh, by default, sometimes when you just change your monitor, it will be at 60 Hertz. Uh, so depending on the type of monitor that you buy, 144, 240, make sure that you're selecting this one. This option also you can change it on Windows or your Radian driver if you have a Radian car. So no problem with that. The last one is your G-Sync. If you want to activate your G-Sync, really important to select the monitor. It needs to be compatible and you will enable over there. Uh, I'm not using G-Sync me. I always unlock my FPS because I want the lowest input lag. But if you don't like those steering line, definitely activate your G-Sync over there. So now let's go back to the game. Just before going inside of the game, uh, you can add also an extreme mode in this game if you want to see it. So click the tree dot over there, go to manage, go to properties and write unlock max 
settings with S like this in your launch section. And you will have a parameter called um, Ultra after Ultra. And this is pretty much an extreme parameter. It's a bit like Avatar. Uh, for sure, it's going to tank your FPS. But if you want to look at it, this is the way to do it. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game, we're going to start by video. Um, the display mode, make sure that you're playing an exclusive full screen. Uh, you're going to have less stuttering and also better FPS. Also, make sure that you're playing native with your resolution. I don't like to use vertical sync in any game. It adds input lag. I recommend you use like G-Sync, free sync if it's available. Uh, for sure, you're not playing CS2 or Valorant. So if you want to use it, definitely go for it. If you don't like those tearing, li tearing lines, sorry. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Monitor refresh rate, make sure that you're playing native. In my case, I have a 240 Hertz monitor. By default, it was at 60, so really important to look at this. Cinematic frame rate, I just unlock it. I know some people like to lock it at 30, so it's a question of preference. And I don't use any frame rate limiter, I just want maximum FPS. My NVIDIA reflex latency, if it's available to you, go with on. And after that, the upscaler technique. So this one is very, very important. If you have an RTX card, uh, I recommend to go with DLSS uh, for sure. It's the best up solution for you, but it will depend. I'm going to talk a little bit about different generation later. So if you want to use DLSS NVIDIA, you have an RTX card, go upscaler mode at fix and go upscaler quality at quality over there. Don't go lower than that. The game looks blurry. So at quality, you're going to gain like a 10% in your FPS. If you have an RTX series 4000 or more recent, you can use the frame generation. I recommend you using it. This one will provide you 35% boost in your FPS straight up. So this is pretty huge if you need it. If you don't, you have an older uh, RTX card. You still have the FSR3 available. And also they have frame generation. So if you really need FPS, for sure, go with FSR3 and use the uh, frame generation. Same thing with the upscaler mode, use fix and use something between quality or ultra quality. Both are good with FSR. Um, and yes, that's pretty much it. So you can have like frame generation on the 3000 series card, 2000 series card. And also for sure, if you have a radiant card, it will work also. So in my case, I have a 4090. I'm using the DLSS at native AA. So now let's go to the graphics setting. We're going to start by advanced quality over there. So first of all, environment reflection so i'm going to show you all the parameter that uh, you can change so the the goal here is to have the best visual with the best performance so i'm going to tell you which one is very important to lower if you're struggling with your fps and the other ones doesn't have like huge impact so first of all environment re uh, reflection quality this one i recommend to go with medium you're going to gain a nice four percent boost over there fog blur disactivate this it will be better for your visual quality Micro detail quality can definitely run high, not a huge uh, impact on your FPS. And honestly, you don't see a big difference in the image quality. Uh, particle quality, scatter density, I recommend to go medium for both. You're going to gain a nice 6% also over there. For shadow, normally you're, you're gaining a lot of FPS with shadow quality, but in this game, it's not huge. So I recommend to go with high or medium on moderate and high. And over there, you're going to gain a nice 8% boost. So it's pretty decent and your game will not look flat. For detail, I recommend to go with I, I over there. You're going to like save 2%, so it's not a huge deal. Extra streaming distance, I recommend to go with 50. But the one that's really important, object detail in the open world, it's crazy. If you go at 400, you're going to tank your FPS like 35%. So my recommendation with this one, just go with 75. It's not a huge deal. And also, you're going to gain a lot of FPS in your open world. For texture, I recommend to go I-512 uh, 512 and medium. And only see this one use maybe like some kind of software mess afterburner nvidia radian you need to look at your vram but because for sure if you have four gig of vram of your on your video card you will have issue with this game so you will need to lower a lot of stuff so it really depends on your vram so just look at this after that for the ray tracing this one is a bit tricky um my recommendation is go, first of all, th those three can tank your FPS a lot. So if you're struggling, go with very low, low and medium. If th you don't, go with medium for uh, for those one. Uh, diffuse reflection, not a huge impact on your FPS, so you can run high. And contact shadow, I recommend to go with medium. BVH quality, you can stay at high over there. 
Volumetric effect, this one is huge. So if you go at low for both, you can you can gain 25 to 30 FP 30% of your FPS in this game. It's pretty huge, but honestly, the game looks a little bit flat without it. So my recommendation is start with medium. Look at your FPS if you're struggling lower this section. So now let's go back. So the last one, the last section, and by the way. The uh, parameter that we add in the uh, launch uh, option from uh, Ubisoft. This is the alpha. So this is the extreme mode if you want to use it. So the basic section. So chromatic aberration from grain. You can go with on not an, an impact on your FPS. And unless it's like some kind of like post processing. Depth of fill. I recommend to go with low better visibility. And I'm not a huge fan of any motion uh, blur. So it's question of preference. But in my case, I go zero with everything. The last one is NVIDIA RTX direct lighting. Honestly, this one will tank your FPS. So I'm not recommending to using it. So this is pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.